Hey guys, um, so this is from 6 16 23 5 44 in the morning. Um, and in the in the strongs, that means um, to not believe, to be disobedient, and um, and it means truth. Okay, so it's called I Have Warned, and here we go. I am the Lord God Almighty, I have warned, I have expressed the plan. Time is coming to an end for man when these things begin, and they have already begun. There is no changing course. When mine are taken off the earth and the rebels are shown grace, then the end of all things begins. My full wrath will begin to be released on man. I will wrestle no more with man. Those who choose me live. Those who choose the dark king and take his mark will receive their just rewards. After man destroys the earth and alters humans, my creations ruined to the point that man cannot repair. I will bring strong troubles to those people. Things that are in the Bible and things they cannot imagine. The wrath of God will be seen by all. A precursor to their final end in the lake of fire. I have had patience since the garden. When my creation first began to hear deception. And take the lie over the creator's command. The end is near for those who choose deception. The fantasy that humanity is going to be perfection and that the world will get better and easier by following along in the deception is the lie of the evil one to entrap as many as he can. The wicked are so accustomed to hearing his lies that no amount of proof can help them from their stupor. Their rebellion against their creator, just like Adam and Eve, will bring them knowledge of their nakedness and shame. They will covet the land made once for them, once they have brought it to ruin. What they are about to do will bring their own ruin. They believe they know. They believe they can survive in safe spaces underground in their weak and feeble wisdom that lacked asking me. They believe they know. They believe they are above it all. However, just as these kings and those of wealth are in their process of hiding, feeling smug in their pride and self-made salvation, then I will begin to show that I am God. They will see my fury. Each plan they have made I will frustrate and bring to an end. The kings and the wealthy that survive what is to come will know I am God. I will remove their hiding places and make them unfit. I will change the very principles they have come to count on. Their wisest men of science and their best minds will be shown dumb, none with a solution. When the changes come, their hearts will sink and fear they will cower and hide. They will murder and become primitive to survive. These men of luxury who have worshiped and promoted the great harlot of the earth will see that all of their money and all of their plans and all of their man-made gods cannot help them. But will they finally submit to me in their destruction? No. Their hearts too hard, their sins too deep, their love of wickedness will only deepen as they hate one another and do anything to preserve self. The fear they will have by seeing my power because of their pride, because of their desire for control, because of their belief in the evil one will not cease. Their course is set in stone. All who follow the kings will follow them right into my wrath. Use wisdom. Call on me. See with my eyes the deceptions they plan. Do not believe anything they soon promote. They have a plan to fool the people and put them on a path of chaos and loss until they have full control. Only those who trust in me will have freedom from the trap. They aim to scare, steal, murder, and manipulate until all those that can be fooled and manipulated are easy to ensnare in their net for entrapment in total control. Avoid this. See that I provide. Bring your faith to me. 
When I look down on that day to see who are mine and who are spared from the wrath, will I find faith left on the earth? Only those who keep their eyes stayed on me will I see. Their faith will shine like a lighthouse, a beam in the fog, and I will provide and rescue all those with faith in me through my son. Young and old, ones with faith for a few minutes, or those with faith for 100 years, all who come to me will be saved. What destruction is to come shortly? After man begins his falsehoods on the people, this destruction is the beginning. I will spare mine from its consequences. After mine are off the earth, my true wrath, significantly worse, will begin, and it will happen as I see fit. I am God. I see hearts. The wicked will receive my full wrath. The wicked who hope to make weaker men tremble will cower in fear of what is to come. They will hope their hearts to fail. They will try to take their lives. I will make them suffer through this wrath that they deserve. I am the creator of the earth and the galaxies. I have the authority and the ability to change the shape of the earth, and I can and will change the terrain, the waters, and the skies. What is to come will be incomprehensible. The very foundation of what people understand about the earth and its functions will be shaken to the core. I will release fire. I will send down stars. I will open up the sky. I will flatten mountains. I will sink islands. I will stop the rain. I will darken the earth. I will intensify the sun. I will change the temperament of the wild beast. Those that stay for the wrath to come, woe. The full power of darkness will be unleashed as I remove my protections that all have seen. The most wicked stored in the pit will bring their full fury to earth. Killing, terrifying, and tormenting the wicked who are left. Those left will see how their dark and evil king cannot stop this. The horrors unthinkable. But not for mine. Mine will be off the earth. Those who have a change of heart, those that reject the Antichrist, the dark and evil king, those that rebel against the aim of the kings, those who submit to me before the mark of the beast, will be sheltered and safe from these evils. I will provide help. I will send angels and special missionaries to provide and protect. Do not be here to see my fury. I have reserved my fury for generations. I have had patience with man, with grace and mercy. Come to me with full faith. Trust that I can and will do as I say for my own. Avoid my wrath. That will be a difficult time for humanity. I will not struggle much longer with man. Even in man's time, the time of wrath to come will be here soon. There are only two choices. Choose me and safety an eternal life through my son, Jesus Christ, the one and only Messiah, or choose man's deceptions, follow the wicked ones and take the mark of the beast and suffer my wrath on the earth and then in eternal fire. This is not a game. This is not a lofty idea to occur decades from now. The time has come, the current day already in process. I am the Lord God Almighty and I warn, hear the voice of the Lord. Then I was told to read Isaiah 24, the Lord's devastation of the earth. See, the Lord is going to lay waste to the earth and devastate it. He will ruin its face and scatter its inhabitants. It will be the same for priests as for people, for the masters as for his servant, for the mistress as for her servant, for sellers as for buyers, for borrowers as for lender, for debtors as for creditor. The earth will be completely laid waste and totally plundered. The Lord has spoken his word. The earth dries up and withers and the world languishes and withers and the heavens languish with the earth. The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws, violated the statues and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth and its people must bear the guilt. Therefore, the earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left. The new wine dries up and the vine withers. All the merrymakers grow, groan. 
The joyful timbrels are stilled. The noise of the revelers has stopped and the joyful heart is silent. No longer do they drink wine with a song. The beer is bitter to its drinkers. The ruined city lies desolate. The entrance to every house is barred. In the streets they cry out for wine. All joy turns to gloom. All joyful sounds are banished from the earth. The city is left in ruins. Its gate is battered to pieces. So it will be on the earth among all the nations when an olive tree is beaten or as when the gleanings are left after the grape harvest. They raise their voices. They shout for joy. From the west they acclaim the Lord's majesty. Therefore, in the east they give to the they give glory to the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord, the God of Israel, in the islands of the sea. From the ends of the earth we hear singing, glory to the righteous one. But I say, I waste away, I waste away. Woe to me, the treacherous betray, the treachery, the treacherous betray. Terror and pit will snare you away, people of the earth. Whoever flees at the sound of terror will fall into a pit. Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in a snare. The floodgates of heavens are opened. The foundations of the earth shake. The earth is broken up. The earth is split asunder. The earth is violently shaken. The earth reels like a drunkard. It sways like a hut in the wind. So upon it is the guilt of its rebellion that it falls never to rise again. In that day, the Lord will punish the powers in the heavens above and the kings on the earth below. They will be herded together like prisoners and bound in a dungeon. They will be shut up into a prison and punished after many days. The moon will be dismayed, the sun ashamed, for the Lord Almighty will reign on Mount Zion in Jerusalem before its elders with great glory. So I don't think that was like the most encouraging if you are not a Christian. If you are a Christian, at least you know you are not going to be susceptible to God's wrath. And uh, that is something to be happy about because we're about out of here. <laughs> so I'll see you next time.